The Honda Transalp, it's finally here in the Honda showroom. Let's take a closer look. So this is it guys, finally, finally the Honda Transalp is here and we have this uh, grey color available in the Honda showroom. Let's take a look at some of the accessories which were installed on this bike. As you can already see we have the engine protection which is uh, actually very thick. I think uh, it has about 3 millimeters or so, 3-4 millimeters even, it's quite tough. And it's uh, also stitched over here with two bolts in front, another two bolts on the side. And also we have the engine protection guard, this engine guard which uh, protects and it's connected close to the uh, bash plate in a very nice way. And it's also very, very thick. So we have this, uh, these ventilation holes over here, which are actually making the water go inside. And then on the back, you can see another holes to drain the water and the mud. So I really like this, uh, this engine protection. This is part of the uh, rally pack, which the bike uh, comes with. We also have the uh, radiator guard, which, is, uh, which consists of this, uh, of this thick aluminum uh, protection. Uh, actually, there are two, two parts over here. I don't know if you can see better. It's one, uh, one radiator guard which is the one layer and on the back there is another protective layer there are actually two layers two layers of uh, protection and then comes the radiator the radiator uh, grill so i really like this one also with the transalp logo they are very sharp over here the fog lights let's check out a little bit the uh, crash bar which actually protects quite well the fenders. It's connected with the uh, engine guard with two bolts over here. We have two bolts. And in front, we have another system, another system which is attached to the uh, suspension just on the middle. As you can see, there are two, another two bolts and this connective uh, part on the middle side it just goes uh, goes in front you can attach the fog lights and then comes comes uh, the left part also two bolts and another bolt will be attached which has another uh, aluminum part inside so this one it's actually made of two parts the second part is connected to the uh, crash bar and the engine guard. Very nice. And let's see on the back. On the back it also continues until the central stand. This protection continues until it reaches uh, the central stand. It also protects part of the, um, the big pipe. Over here you can see the quick shifter, it has a free play over here, you can see a free play but it's still quite well connected and it helps, uh, it has an up and down quick shifter. Good and we can see another bolt which is connected, which the engine guard is connected with to the 
a part of the frame with this one you can see here really interesting also we have the uh, rally foot pegs very light and also uh, they bend I think they're quite nicely done they're a little bit thin they're quite thin but uh, they look very solid and the spring it's quite hard this is the side stand all right these are the pillion foot pegs i think these are the comfort ones they are very soft here with a rubber part and they are attached with these two bolts similar as the exhaust is attached let's take a look at the exhaust how it is attached you can see here some bolts one bolt here and two bolts here these are actually the bolts the the part which connects the side cases the side cases uh, we'll speak about them later okay the the quality quality it's quite good at least what we can see here on the side and the details especially here on this part where the accessories are mounted it's a uh, very nicely done over here you can see here how they are connected the engine 92 horsepower also here we have some ventilation on this part all right let's see how the uh, fog lights are connected basically there are two bolts two bolts connected to the uh, crash bar and then comes a wire which goes inside the left wire it's a little bit longer than the, the right one but I think you can stick it more inside and here there is a connection ring there is a connection ring between these uh, between these two two parts of the uh, crash bar yes. we have the uh, plastic uh, handguards of course these are just for small wind protection and maybe some rain protection the commands are very intuitive placed function and so on signal this uh, this seems very well done quite uh, resistant the suspension which is uh, the ceiling part which is actually a little bit exposed over here as you can see let's check it out yeah I really like the uh, this uh, this front guard, the front wheel guard. It's quite uh, quite protective for the suspension, and also uh, for the radiator because it's a little bit longer on this side. You don't need an extra protection for the mud guard. Let's check out the back part, the swing arm. The swing arm, it's uh, definitely much wider and bigger than uh, it was on the NC, that's for sure. Here you can see the um, rear spring, 190 millimeter travel. And there is also a mud protection for this one, a plastic one. A plastic mud protection. You can see the one which we're talking about in my previous videos. It protects quite well the radiator from the back. 
and also here and what we have here a stitching for the plate I think can be I don't know and here we have this uh, quite a long uh, travel for the rear wheel the tires are Dunlop Trail Max Mix Tour I was hoping for the Carew Street but these ones uh, were the same as they were on the NC at the first time they have a pretty decent uh, decent uh, let's say um, meat on them it, they are quite soft I don't know how well they will perform I will think about uh, changing them with the uh, Mita's Mita's uh, E07 Plus I'm still thinking about this option the, what's interesting is that the tires are made in Japan this uh, mixture tile Dunlop 15070R18 made in Japan tube type it says here already on the tire that it's tube type and this is the exhaust maybe we have the chance to hear it a little bit has this uh, heat protection the brake lever which is actually very nicely very firm and very tough very thick good yeah looks looks very very nice from the first side we have also the uh, the tank bag the tank bag which is uh, quite small I thought uh, it was bigger it connects here with the two bolts on each side yeah that's uh, that's really interesting two bolts on each side and then uh, yeah it, ah okay and then comes with a magnet and this magnet uh, it's attached over here very nicely to the uh, petrol tank yeah it's very interesting uh, perspective so you don't uh, miss it actually it's uh, fixed here with two bolts and also with the two magnets on the side yeah very nice and you can take it out it's uh, quite enough for the documents to put some money now let's sit a little bit on the bike to see the ergonomics Yeah, so where you can see uh, the riding position, it's uh, quite, quite good. Actually, it's uh, really comfortable. And you can move a little bit uh, on, the, on the chair, on the seat. You don't have so much uh, space to move back and forward. So it's, it has quite a slope, uh, this seat. But nevertheless, the riding position, it's uh, quite good. You can access easily the, the commands. So the seat, uh, it's wide, but it has an enormous slope. Just check it out, at least this one look at this one it has an enormous slope and uh, the fabric which is uh, on top of the seat it has a lot of grip but however it's look at it it's wow i think it's a little bit too much for the pillion uh, it has a lot of a lot of uh, foam inside it's quite thick I think it will be comfortable for the pillion, but uh, it's it's very bended on this side. It keeps you quite a lot in this position. Quite a lot uh, puts you here and sticks you here. But I thought, uh, I'm thinking if the seat has this height or it uh, will be level, then the it will be really difficult. The seat height will be very high. 
I have to speak about this uh, this top case support, which is very very tough and very quality made. The top case, uh, yeah, I'm not impressed about uh, its quality. I'm not a big fan, uh, at least for this bike, for the top case, also side cases. I will choose a different uh, approach regarding this topic, the top case. Let's check out the dashboard. So what we have, the consumption, consumption trajectory, trajectory A, total regime, the battery tension, angle of uh, point E. Uh, we have also the angle, the leaning angle. All right. So we have here what we have, 5.3, 9.3, 11 volts for the battery. What else? On the function, activate, deactivate the uh, headlights, riding modes, gravel, user, sport, standard, rain. So uh, let's put it on standard. Oh, the horn, it's uh, quite, uh, quite loud. I didn't expect it. These are the signal lights, LED signal lights, and also for the back, for the rear. They seem quite visible, although uh, the ones from the NC were much, much visible than these ones. They were also uh, bigger. The menu seems uh, quite simple. Riding modes function okay let's see the high beam this is the high beam So guess what, now we have the white one, the other color, which has some slightly differences from what I've noticed. Check it out. The first difference which I can notice is the seat slope. Uh, I don't know if uh, I'm mistaken, but this uh, slope from the blue seat seems uh, much, much uh, smaller than the one from the gray one. Uh, first of all, the fabric which covers the seat is much nicer for the blue one. I don't know uh, why are these differences, but this looks much nicer and also uh, the slope, man. You can see that the slope is much, much uh, smaller, which is a good thing. It's much slower. Is uh, The slope is much smaller. Yeah, you can check it also from this side. I really like it. Also, the color looks much, much better. And there is another difference. Uh, the tires, the tires, these are Carew Street tires, which I like them uh, much more than the Dunlop. So we have the Carew Street, which I think I'm gonna keep it uh, if the bike comes with these tires. 
Metzlakaru Street. This one uh, also has the rally pack installed. We can see it doesn't have a crash bar, only the engine guard and the engine protection. And it looks really, really nice. I don't know how much I have to wait for it. The rumors say that uh, could be the end of June. So quite a long time man, to wait for the bike. This one, it's only for showroom presentation only. It doesn't have a chassis number. It's just for the presentation only. Again, the skid plate. It doesn't have a radiator guard. So this is the second protection which you have. It's a plastic one, which you have a uh, standard. So this is plastic and over this plastic comes the aluminum uh, radiator protection. What I like also a small detail is that you have this uh, counterweight to balance the wheel after you change the tire. These are not sticked on this beautiful uh, uh, gold rim and uh, you can actually use these ones to balance the wheel. You don't have to uh, ruin the, the perfect gold rim in order to stick some uh, counterweight to balance, which I think it's a good thing. And the wheel looks really, really nice. The spokes are very, very thick. And uh, yeah, it's, it looks really nice, man. Carew Street, let's see where they are produced. Doesn't say tube tire made in Indonesia. So these uh, Carew Street tires are made in Indonesia. The Dunlop Torrance Mix, they are made in uh, Japan. Let's see the rear wheel. This is made in China, actually. The rear wheel is made in China. The front wheel made in Indonesia. Yeah, Carew Street tires. They have a, a quite a nice profile. It's very similar with the Pirelli STR from the standard Yamaha Tenere. They look very similar. I heard good reviews regarding this tire. So if the bike comes with this metal tire, I'm going to keep it. If not, I'm going to change it with the uh, perhaps with the Mitas E07 Plus. here one more time the exhaust because I'm really impressed about this stock exhaust let's check it out We have the new Transalt which just arrived yesterday in the Honda showrooms. Uh, for the moment this is only a showroom version, this is not a test version even. I cannot test the bike, 
I just can uh, sit on it. So this one, the white one has a standard seat. The other one which uh, you saw in the video had the uh, lower seat, which I actually don't like, but if you are a shorter person, then there is an option for you also. But this one, uh, not even that the seat is uh, perfect for uh, 180, for example, for 179, 178 uh, height person. But also the fabric, which uh, the seat, uh, the top fabric, I think it's more quality on the standard seat. Also differences with the tires, different tires uh, for the colors, either Carew Street or uh, Dunlop tires. But man, the sound of the bike, I haven't expected uh, for a standard exhaust. The sound, it's quite nice. I mean, yeah, it's surprise you don't expect uh, from a standard exhaust to sound uh, as this one uh, does, but still I'm really impressed about the sound, the standard sound, so I don't see any difference. Uh, I was thinking to change the exhaust, but yeah, it doesn't make sense uh, when the bike sounds so good. I'm really, really, uh, I don't have too much patience. I don't have too much patience to wait until June or maybe even July for my bike, depending on the transportation uh, uh, delay times or delivery times nevertheless the bike will come will eventually arrive and i will be able to ride it and offer a complete feedback